Rob, we're talking about a worst case scenario here. We're talking about all the dry fuel and we're talking about the winds just blowing it into the fuel that's ready to burn. Uh, there's two things here uh, that are lining up, Walt, uh, to make this uh, the most dangerous day in the history of Tahoe, uh, for South Lake Tahoe at least. And the reason why is this. It is established right now in the basin in the worst possible spot at the south end there, uh, ready to go when the winds kick up later on today. Now, if we were looking at a fire established in this spot with a relatively breezy day but not red flag day, there'd be chances to save more structures, there'd be chances to get after this. But once the wind really kicks in later on this afternoon, it's about saving lives and doing what you can because the, we the weather will be dominant today as far as the fire behavior and where it goes uh, through uh, portions of the, the South Tahoe area. Now, one thing I just wanna let you know is that we have eyes on this, both on the ground, satellites, and something in between. These cameras are showing uh, down into the Christmas Valley. It's established uh, on both sides there, so it's ready to go. We we also are watching what's going on with 88. This is another critical area. It was extremely active yesterday. This is Silver Lake. Here's Highway 88. It's very close to Kirkwood. Kirkwood is nestled right here in this valley, right in the middle there. That's where all the condos, the high rises, people that live here year round, and it's right on the other side. So that fire will also be affected by red flag conditions. Today will be windier than yesterday. Wind gusts up to 30 to 35 miles per hour in the direction. It will blow, uh, blow deeper into the Tahoe Basin. And then we're also looking at another day with red flag conditions for tomorrow. So this is going to be very tough ahead. There's just no way uh, to look at this any other way that this is a very dangerous situation. Uh, also, the smoke is going to be very thick and it's going to be right over that area. So direct attack by aircraft may not be possible at times because you can't see. And the wind is also going to be very strong. Maybe at the flanks, maybe the 88 side. It was busy yesterday uh, with aircraft. But again, it was just one of the big tools that they have that may not be available on red flag days like today. Remember, it's not just the Caldor fire. The whole Sierra is covered by this red flag warning, so new fires could pop up. We saw one at Donner Lake yesterday. That was a huge, dangerous situation. They got on it early, uh, but again, it's these days that are very dangerous.